there and welcome to my channel today we are going to make this little box with chocolate um it's kind of a chocolate spread but it's not a spread like um soft it's more like a plate of chocolate and uh i don't know if any one of you know this it's really popular here in denmark so i felt like doing this so first i am going to cut out the little boxes and then i am going to bend it i'm trying to show you here how i bend it so i hope i am not too much out of focus and i am sorry about that i luckily did notice that i was out of focus uh, here it is a bit better showing you where to bend these uh, pieces of the box so that you can make it yourself And here I am trying to show you how I bend it all together. So this is the way it has to go together, like a little box that opens in the top here. Okay, let me show you how to glue it. So I am going to use my um, wood glue for that, or you can use a paper glue. It's both really good. So I glue a little on the tabs here place it nicely in the corner and I'm just squeezing it together and I'm gonna do that again in the other side of the little box here oops so opening it up so I can see the small tabs here placing a tiny bit of glue on both of them and um, putting it together in the corners so the corners is nice and square and just making sure it is squashed really nice together so that the our glue will take the hold. Then you fold this little side piece here. It's going over the edge and it, that can be a bit difficult or tricky. You can cut it off but then it will not look as good when it is all closed. So you really need this bend here. So I'm just trying to bend it nicely with my uh, pliers here. And now you can close the little box. And you can make one of these or you could make um, kind of all of them. Um, yeah, I did every one. And no box of chocolate without the chocolate. So I am going to take a piece of paper and I am going to draw the um, uh, the bottom of the box on this piece of paper. And then I will cut it out and I'm going to cut it out until it is small enough to be placed in my box. This way I know how big my chocolate pieces are going to be. Now where I have my size uh, like it should be, that is uh, around a centimeter wide and one and a half centimeter long. Then I rolled out some caramel colored clay because this is the light colored chocolate. You can get one with dark colored chocolate, but this box that we made is for the light colored chocolate. I have this old tool where uh, I have this pretty pattern on the side of it. Most X-Acto knives have the same pattern on there, so you can use your X-Acto knife if you have one. Um, or maybe find something with a pattern you like to put on there, but this pattern really fits so well to the chocolate pattern in real life. Now I am just going to cut out pieces of this um, that fits the size of my box. It was a bit wonky, so I corrected it. 
and then I made a line more on top of this. Then I cut out the width of these and I found out really quick that they are around a centimeter so I could use my cutting board underneath for uh, measurements so I did that. Now these are plates of thin chocolate and they have this line through them so you can um, snap them apart in three pieces and that is what I am doing here. I'm making these two um, kind of indents so that you can uh, have the feeling that you can snap them in three pieces and then put them on your uh, bread when you're ready to eat them. I'm just making sure that everything is apart and then I am going to bake it. After baking, let them cool and then you can take these plates of chocolate and pop them into your little box. And there you have a tiny box of chocolate um, spread. That is really not the right word for this one because it's more like a thin plate of chocolate that you can snap over and put on your bread and it tastes really good. It's almost like a uh, chocolate spread but it really isn't a chocolate spread. If you know this and you know the English word for this then please let me know. I would really be interested in that one. Uh, but that is all there is for this little craft here. I hope you enjoyed it even though that it was a small one. But thank you for watching and happy crafting. Subscribe.